so it should be this one let's lock it and yes it's the correct one i can just fly so basically just telling the game no i have not double jumped sir good day my fellow hackers today i'm going to be using cheat engine on silk song and today i'm going to be trying to do is infinite jump now i must warn you if you're doing this yourself you might crash the first time whilst trying because yeah i mean if your results are 90 you might crash if your results are like six i mean you might survive okay so um we're gonna do infinite jump well it's more like a flying now first of all you need to have double jump and no you cannot use this jump i mean you can you might can you might you might could recruit like construct it like because to do a jump you need to be touching the ground and they're very 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 intimately connected and you cannot really separate them so you would just jump and just be stuck in the sky until you move into a side or something it's a lot more simple with a double jump so we're going to use the double jump so i'm going to turn on the cheat engine i of course resize the silk song to my preference let's connect this while glowing button so to resize go into options video and resolution and full screen are right there okay so we need to catch the double jump now usually in the games such simple things like jumps and stuff they usually are just like ones and zeros like does he have a jump and zero mean, meaning no, and one meaning yes. Usually, I mean, it's it, vice versa. It, it's 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 just a value, you know. It's a memory. So I know that this game has something similar because when I double jump, I cannot double jump again until I touch the ground or a wall or something like that. So I know that something in the game code is memorizing ability like can i double jump right now or can i not so something in the game code is memorizing this and i'm gonna catch it so uh first of all i know that uh, like right now before jumping it is a zero like whatever state it is like before double jumping it's a zero and after double jumping it is a one so the game asks simply this have i double jumped if the answer is no, I can double jump. If the answer is yes, I cannot double jump. So I just simply need to catch the memory, keep it at zero, at no. And uh, every time the game asks, have I double jumped? I'll just keep on saying no and I can just infinitely double jump. Simple, simple. Okay, I'm going to cheat engine and let's start by scanning with unknown initial value. I will not start scanning from a zero. Don't be fools. And now I'm gonna double jump, pause the game, and go into here in changed value. Now, I'm doing this video a second time. I'm actually gonna do unchanged value because my it the state has not changed, but some values are changing. So I'm gonna narrow the found amount. Now, this is my second attempt. In this video like i'm doing this video a second attempt because i crashed the first attempt and i crashed the first attempt as i was trying to construct this and the, yeah i mean the other time i just got a six found and i mean i mean yeah okay so i'm touching the ground it's changed Oh, so I cannot teach this like, oh, I don't know the value because I should probably tell you the value. So it's changed. Now it is unchanged. And you just simply need to do this like until you get the value. Okay, so it's unchanged. Repeat. Let me go into options. Just do maybe audio. Okay, continue. Walk around. Maybe even jump once, don't double jump. I'm doing this unchanged. So basically I'm not changing the state of double jump. I have it always loaded. I'm not, I'm not using it. 
So, yeah. So it's unchanged. I'm walking. Okay, I'm gonna fall a bit without jumping. Okay. And maybe pause the game a bit. I need to found the mount to be as low as possible. Okay, enough. That's that's enough. Okay, I'm gonna double jump. And now it's changed. I'm gonna double jump again. It is unchanged because I used it and in the current state I don't have double jump. I just used it. So it is oh it's still on repeat. Oh the found amount is now 50. Look at this. Now I won't crash. My goodness, okay changed so okay now usually this is how you would do it if you don't know the value it could be a zero as you for example have already jumped like if you already jumped like for example in minecraft it could be already zero and you just you know and you just don't know the value so we just go with unchanged and change the value by starting with unknown initial value because you don't know the value and another thing for example if i like for example forgot like, what is the state that I just scanned? What, like, was it after I jumped or before I jumped? And I forgot. So I can just simply go and ignore the value. And it just resets all the found amounts, like current found amounts. Like, the current found values are just all reset. And you can just simply... Okay, now I'm touching the ground. So it changed from the that state. And just... Yeah. Okay, so... Now state before I jump is a zero, so I'm gonna go with exact value, and it's a zero. Scan zero, it's all zeros, okay. Jump, like double jump, and now exact value should be one. And the found amount is decreased by a lot. So it should be, let's try going to another room. Now in the other games, might going to another room might not help. But this time it helped. Because, okay, it decreased. Can I just like move around like... No, I can't, okay. So it's one of these. So let's just try and see which one it is. I'm just, I'm just real sad that I can't teach you like if you don't know the values. Because usually when you're trying to find it yourself, you don't know the values. So, yeah. But anyways. Okay. So, it is what it is. So, now which one of these it is? Now, all of them say no. Like, all of them say zero. And when I jump, they say yes. Like, I have jumped. One of them is the double jump. And you don't... Don't you get it. Now, one of them is a double jump. So, which one it is? So, uh, let's lock, for example, the top one. And let's pray that we don't crash. No, it's not this one, because I cannot jump again. And this one just showed that it is the incorrect one. Lucky. This one is bad too. Delete. So it should be this one. Let's lock it. And yes, it's the correct one. I can just fly. So basically just telling the game, no, I have not double jumped, sir. And I can just keep on double jumping and don't worry. You can still use the... I have... Yes, spam a bit and you can use the parachute. So yeah, and now I can fly. So how to make this permanent? Because this value will get lost once the game is relaunched. So... We need to make this more permanent. So basically I'm gonna right click and press find down for rights to use this address or F6. Yes, attention to debugger. Now this is your biggest friend. This thing will help you find the codes that keep on changing this value. And now when I, yes, there are a, there are a bunch of codes. There are like, my goodness. And now, like for example, I'm just jumping, landing, jumping, landing. There's a bunch of codes. 
I mean, uh, this one is when I jump, this one is when I land, this is when my animation state changes, and this is when I, not animation, maybe gravity changes yet. Yeah, I, I think gravity acceleration upwards, and this is the double jump, and there might be even more values, but just, yeah, when I double jump, you see this value changes. So yeah, that's the ve that's the code that keeps on changing this value. So I'm gonna select this, show this assembler. That's the code we want. I'm just gonna press Tools, Auto Assemble or Control A, and down here I'm gonna press Template, A or B in injection or Shift Control A. Okay, make it unique because I believe you want to connect your multiple scripts. I just don't like all of the B injects. And now simply beyond the blue and red, there's the code, there's our beautiful code, and there's our one. Delete. It's now just a zero. And it's, I mean, it's move by, the, it's, it's more specific. I mean, move into this value, this value. It was one, now it's a zero. So it's gonna replace this value with a zero. I used to do that with a ones and it's a bit of code. So I changed it into a zero, just simply deleted the one, make sure there's a zero or any kind of value you want. Go into file, assign to current sheet table. It appears right over here as an activatable script. I can close everything. I can rename the script into a fly. Activate it. And now I don't need the value anymore. I can just activate the script. And the code will stop changing this value into a 1. So it will always tell the game, no, we have not double jumped. And now if I were to try and jump, you can see I can just simply fly. And I can catch this moss bug and the berry in the air. So yeah, this is how you fly in Silk Song or Infinite Jump. I mean, I can probably reach. Can I reach? No, I can't. Okay. So I'm out of map. Yep. Ooh, there's a there's a land over here. I see. So I am really not where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> I'm on top of the map. Okay, and of course you can use it and explore. Explore the Silk Song like you haven't before. Of course, scripts might break after you update the game. So of course you can save this and use this whenever you like. So yeah, that is all. Thanks for watching.